have to ask our third graders, we can ask the adults too, would you raise your hand if you found yourself tempted to do what's wrong, you knew it was wrong, and you did it anyway? How about raising your hands if you find that that's a problem with you? Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, and so adults too. This is, I always enjoy that because I know how sometimes I know I shouldn't do something wrong. I know that. And the devil just tempts me. And afterwards, I'm so upset with myself. I knew I shouldn't have done that, but I let myself do it. I was weak, and I listened to the devil, and I sinned, and I hurt God. And without realizing, I hurt myself because I knew I should have done better. I could have. And of course, there's other times, and I'm sure this finds you do the same thing, where you know you're tempted and you do the right thing. You know, and that's not easy. In fact, sometimes you see somebody else in the family, another ch somebody at school, they get away with it. It isn't noticed. Now, your teachers, teacher associates, they see a lot, but they don't see everything, do they? No. And see, that's where Jesus is teaching us something about ourselves today in our first reading. St. Paul talks about that we're like two different people. It's like we're divided in some way. Now, that doesn't mean we got four arms or something like that, but he, what he's saying is there's two parts of us, the part made by God who is good, who is loving. In fact, we say we're made in the image of God in his goodness and his love. But there's another part of us who the devil tempts. And sometimes we're weak. Sometimes we don't, we're kind of stubborn. And the devil gets his way. And then we're like two different people. It's like there's the good side and there's the bad side. Now, even when we grow up as adults, we're still going to have that temptation. But you see the adults here in church here this morning? They're here because they want to be here every day so that the good side of themselves gets stronger and the bad side gets weaker. But it's also for us in third grade as well. We're learning here at St. Vincent de Paul how God has made us good, how our parents and our teachers, teacher associates, are really emphasizing that. And sometimes, just even being bad or tempted isn't such a problem because the more good you do, the more caring you are for someone else, the more loving you are, the devil doesn't have as much chance. He starts moving away. He always come back, but if we keep doing what we know is the right thing, the good thing, the caring thing, just what we say our school's model for this year, doing small things with great love. Keep doing that every day. Notice, did you notice our teachers, how they give us sometimes the same assignment almost every day? I mean, it changes, but it seems like here we are, we're doing the same. Well, maybe not all the teachers, but maybe some of the teachers. And the thing is, you learn, and you do better, and you improve, and they see that. And that's the way with faith, the same way. God wants us doing these small things that are good and right, and we just, after a while, we change. And we grow up, and we care more for each other. So this morning, I just invite you, where St. Paul says, Jesus came to make a person who feels like there are two parts. He wants to make a new person. He wants to make a person who knows God so much, where the temptation of the devil is just less and less and less all the time.